Steve Zotke with the Traction Reaction Podcast here with Ernie Francis Jr. at the Slinger Super Speedway. Ernie, have you ever seen a track like this before? Never have. This is my first time on a track with this much banking. Uh, it's uh, totally new, but man, it is fun to drive around. Uh, we ran out there for practice for a little bit and uh, had a blast out there. Car felt really good. Uh, really happy with where we're at. I think uh, I think it'll be a great race tonight. I think the fans are really gonna gonna enjoy it out there. I'm sure I'm sure you did a little uh, track prep beforehand and everything, but the sensations of, of that car on a short track on bank, is it anything that you expected? No, you, it, it, it is a, little, a lot different. I mean, I'm used to, uh, from the limited short track experience I have, it's all been flat places. It's all been flat tracks. So uh, running around here with these high banks, it's different. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, it feels like downforce gets pushed into the car and you just get, feel it just get pushed into the track and the car just grips up. Uh, the only thing I can compare it to is uh, like when I race my open wheel car and you just got to trust the downforce to, to keep you stuck to the track. You got to trust that banking to keep you stuck down. And uh, that's what I'm trying to get used to and feel out out there. So far, you know, it's been, there's been some banging and beating, but this is the track where, you know, it could really get out of control, isn't it? Yeah, the, we've had uh, some pretty rough ones in the past. Uh, Lucas Oil last weekend was pretty clean for us, but those dirt races really, uh, really beat up a lot of cars. We'll see what happens here. We're going to be on top of each other. The times are all really close with everybody. It's going to be hard to pass. Um, so we'll see what happens in the race. Yeah, we really enjoyed watching you, of course, on TV at Lucas Oil uh, last week, but also on the Trans Am race. Tough, tough break for you where you were easily the fastest car in the track. What happened last week at Elkhart? Yeah, we had a uh, front suspension failure to take us out of the race out there. Really tough break. We've been, uh, we've been so fast all season long in Trans Am and just had the worst luck. Uh, little things that take us out but uh but yeah got the car back out there set fastest lap by like a second and a half so i mean we have the pace we just got to get the car to to stay running on track if we can do that then we'll be set but uh but yeah really happy this weekend don't have anything else i got to do so just over here at slinger get to focus on that this weekend and uh trying to put on a show for everybody and what's next coming up for the rest of the season for ernie uh next weekend we got the uh nashville race as well as the trans am brainerd race uh, as well as my uh, fr f3 race at brainerd so uh, back to running three different cars next weekend. I'll uh, be back and forth between the two. Uh, and then after that, got a nice month off break. And then uh, right back at it again with Trans Am and FR. Where, what's the easiest place to get Ernie, Ernie Francis Jr. swag? Uh, best place right now is uh, srxdrivergear.com. You can catch all of my SRX gear on there. Setting up a merch store for my own stuff pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned to my socials. And uh, something will be popping up for, for pretty soon in the next few weeks. So uh, try and grab some stuff. All right, very good, Ernie. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you.